All right, welcome back guys. Um, this would be part two of 9.3 video. Um, last video we um, introduced what the meaning of logarithm is uh, as far as the uh, notation and uh, what it stands for, how do we interpret it. Um, uh, I kind of went over several examples uh, of what it is in terms of, you know, interpret it in a different form that is going from log form to exponential form. Um, I think that's probably the most, uh, that's, that's the most fundamental way of approaching logarithm is understand what the notation means first before you dive into do more with it. So it's just graphing a log graph, right? Or solving a logarithmic equations. Um, so we did several of those uh, example in the previous video. In this video, uh, we're, we're gonna um, uh, be able to graph uh, log function uh, but before we get there uh, because in order to graph any function we need to um, uh, find order of pairs or points on the graph and apply it on the coordinates here and then connect the dots or figure out the pattern what the graph look like um, so in order to get there we need to be able to evaluate um, uh, logarithmic expressions and understand what that is thoroughly before we get to the function part or graphing the equation so I have an, uh, four different examples I'm, I'm planning to go over uh, in this video here. This is straight from the homework. Um, so it says that find the logarithm, uh, meaning, um, you know, here is the log expressions. We have this, 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 this. Well, by looking at it, do we know what it means, what it's asking to do? What is the answer that we're trying to find, right? Um, so... Uh, just like algebraic expression, you give an expression, so you, the most we can do with exp that expression is simplify it or reduce it if it's fraction or factoring it if it's, if it's a polynomial, right? With logarithm, it, given an expression, you know, we have to find what that is. In other words, what is that exponent? Logarithm is the exponent that we're trying to find, right? So. A, B, C, D is asking for the exponent to make it happen, whatever the log is indicating, right? So I I would, ex you know, uh, if I were you, I would just take some time, write down the meaning of each expression first before you go straight to the answer. If you already know the answer, if you know, already know what log is, that's great, that's awesome. But if you are, you know, struggling with, with just staring at the notation, uh, then start with just kind of writing down what the notation means, writing down what the expression means. So... Uh, part A, it says log base 10 of, of 100. What does that even mean, right? So in the previous video, we, we talked about what this means. This expression here, this, math, this mathematics notation has a meaning in English. So this is saying that, you know, uh, what is, or the exponent, what is the exponent? We can say, what, what is the exponent? Because we try and find what this uh log expression equal to what is the exponent such that such that you know uh 10 raised to that exponent to um uh, uh, uh which what is the exponent such that 10 raised to that the exponent we're trying to find uh which give us give us 100 okay all right um, so that's what this means. That's what this log of base 10, 100 means. What is the power, the exponent, or, you know, we probably don't need this part. What is, we try and find the exponent. So, uh, find, you know, find the exponent such that 10 raised to, to give, uh, 100. Well, what, what is that exponent? Well, 10 raised to what power equal to? 100. So we say, okay, 10 raised to what power equal to 100? Well, we know that's that that exponent we're looking for is, you know, I can't spell here. The exponent we're looking for is 2, right? 10 raised to the second is 100, right? You, you agree with that? Um, so the answer for this, uh, in other words, what we ask you write as the answer when we see this is we just say 2, right? So that log base 10, 100 is 2. That exponent we're looking for is 2. Uh, moving on to part B. Okay, Log base 2 of 1, 4. Well, what does this even mean? Let's, let's practice that. We're trying to find the exponent, right? The exponent. Such that, such that what? 
just that two raise to get what to get one four right so okay two raise to what exponent to get one fourth well if you know your negative exponent you know the answer in this case is gonna be negative two right um, so we said log base 2 of 1, 4 is negative 2. Why? Because 2 to negative 2 is 1, 4. Right? Um, so this is the answer that right there. Or this. Okay. Um, part C. Okay, so once you get better of interpreting these uh, log logarithmic expressions, understand what it's asking for, you can go straight to the answer. Say, so, okay, well, log base 10 of 0.1, we're trying to find out, okay, well, okay, what power is that 10 raised to to get 0 0.1? Huh, okay, so 1 is fraction. Perhaps we write the uh, fraction on uh, the point 1 as fraction 1 10. Well, what power is 10 raised to to get 1 10? Well, that is negative 1, isn't it? Isn't 10 to negative 1 is 1 10? So the answer is negative one. Okay. Part D. Uh, what is the power? What is the exponent that seventeen must raise to to get one? Well, let's see. Anything raised to what equal to one is zero, right? So seventeen raised to zero is all is equal to one. So log base seventeen of one is zero. Seventeen to zero power is is one. Okay. So I would just practice several of this more at home or in your home. We'll kind of, you know, get get the definition down a little bit and, 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 and you know, be very fluent with it before you jump on and do all the stuff. So now, having this in mind, we can go ahead and, and, and you know, attempt to graph uh, the function of log base 3 of x. Okay. Um, so... We're given the equation y equal to log base 3 of x. We want to see what the graph looks like, right, when we actually plot it. Um, so let's start with this, okay? Um, I find it easier to start with the picking the y value just because, um, you know, the y in this case is the exponent that we're trying to, um, you know, um, find here. We, we can start with x2. The problem with start with x is we have to work backwards to find y. Let's say we pick x is 2, for example. Then we're looking at log base 3 of 2, and then we have to figure out what that y is, and then convert that to exponent form. Well, without a calculator, it's really hard to figure out what 3 raised to what power to give us 2. So you're going to get very like you know weird number here. So I, I wouldn't recommend going that route. So I will start with y, and I'm going to say 1 here, right? If I use 1 for y, so we're looking at, uh, maybe I can write over here in the thing. Uh, 1 equal to log base 3 of x. So we have to find what x is. Um, so using the definition of log, this is saying that x um, uh, 3 is to the first power equal to x. So in this case, it's going to be 3, right? Um, so the first order pair is 3 comma 1. Okay. Next, let's do use two. Okay, well, two equal to log base three of x. So that means x is uh, three to the second is nine. So our second order pair is nine comma two. So we look like look like we we kind of go toward the end of the right uh, side here, right? Because nine's over here. Nine two is right there. Three one's right there. Okay, so perhaps pick you know pick y value that is smaller maybe maybe zero right can can we pick y equals zero let's let's find out okay if y equals zero we're looking at this here to figure out what x has to be so that means three to the zero power is um, um, x uh, x so that means one is equal to x okay so if y equals zero x is equal to one so our point is one comma zero so one comma zero is right there okay um okay let's see if we go smaller uh let's see can we go negative let's see here can we go negative if y is negative one Let's see. Then we have this expression to solve. Or this equation to solve. Okay, what is x has to be if y is negative one? Uh, that means three to negative one equal to um, 
x, so that means x is one third. Okay, so one third for x, so the points is one third negative one. So I'm gonna assume that when x when y is two or x is gonna be one ninth. Uh, so I'll let you work that out. How I got one ninth? Okay. So one third and negative one is just right there, and then one ninth and negative two is right there. So it looks like looks like the graph is doing this. If you can see the pattern, see it looks like the graph is doing this. Okay. All right. So the question: Will the graph ever cross just the y-axis? In this case, the answer is going to be no. Uh, so I want you to kind of look at this graph and compare it to the graph, or actually the exponent graph that we did uh, in, in 9.2. So kind of compare this, compare this graph to y equal 3x. Perhaps graph that on the same axis here and see how that, you know, different or, or similar in a way. Um, let's talk about domain and range. Um, let's see, based on the graph, the domain is uh, the set of all x values. So if you look at this here, it looks like x can be positive. Can x be negative on this side here? Can we pick any x negative here and then get an answer for y? Let's find out. Okay, well, I'm going to go ahead and pick an x that is negative. Let's say x is negative 2, for example. All right, so if x is negative 2, I'm going to go ahead and raise that, then we have y equals log base 3 of negative 2. That means 3 to the y is equal to negative 2. Well, let's see here. Can we find out any exponent such that 3 raised to to get negative numbers? The answer is going to be no, because the graph of exponential uh, function of base 3 or 3 raised to any power, whether it's negative or positive, the result is still going to be positive. So this can't be the case. This can't, we can't have... We can't have x is negative right there. So the domain, right, so it's just going to be 0 from positive infinity, not including 0 because we can't use x equals 0 either. Okay? And for the range, it's all the y value. Okay? So it looks like the graph can be, you know, any value from negative infinity to positive infinity on the y-axis. Okay? So we're just going to go from negative infinity to positive infinity. Okay, so that's how you graph a logarithmic um, function. Um, the best way to do this is graph its original function, not original function, but its inverse function, which is 3 to the x, and kind of use some of the property to kind of, um, uh, I think we're going to go over that in the next couple lessons, I believe, in 9.5. Uh, but there is a way to graph inverse function of exponential function or log with a function that is much quicker than than doing all this right here. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and pause in, on this note, and and I'll see you guys in 9.4 video.